Uh, my name is Julian, I'm from France and I've been living in Indonesia since uh, more than eight years now. Uh, I've been working throughout Indonesia as engineer and project manager in multiple sustainable projects. Uh, mainly in solar PV, but as well a lot, pro uh, a lot of projects related to hospitality and property. Uh, I've been dealing in all these projects with private and industrial clients, and as well dealing a lot with uh, governmental parties. Before these eight years in Indonesia, I've been uh, working four years in France in solar industry uh, as project manager. So all this experience in uh, France and in Indonesia during all these years taught me a lot how to adapt to multicultural uh, environments, as well as the way project management can be approached in Indonesia, where actually the social environment plays a much larger role than what you could uh, see in Europe, and, and it's actually this multicultural environment and these challenges that made me join this uh, exciting project where we, I'm being like surrounded with really brilliant people and with everyone open-minded and uh, to see like everyone willing uh, to achieve and to deliver this uh, unique eco-village uh, in Indonesia. Um, one of the main challenges uh, I see on these projects is to be in an underdeveloped area where we need to bring all the basic infrastructures like water, electricity, internet, and of course makes a, a proper access to site. Uh, these underdeveloped areas are often lacking of uh, usual infrastructures, that's what you, are, you can be used to in uh, the Western world. And we need to be innovative and bold in our design. Uh, to integrate uh, the site conditions and to keep a sustainable approach uh, to build this eco-village. We really must uh, anticipate all the potential issues that could um, arise and we need to address them without altering the original concept of this eco-village. So on another side, uh, I see these challenges uh, can be seen as well as an opportunity to implement and optimize uh, the design of the project to bring the maximum value uh, to the local environment and community. And another challenge was to, to find the right team, to find the right experts in each field to manage uh, each pillar of the eco-village, that are the eco-construction uh, for my side, the education, health and well-being, as well as permaculture and waste management. And I'm really happy to see that we have found these people, we have built this uh, strong team with amazing people having the same values and approach uh, to solve these challenges and this will to deliver this unique eco-village uh, project. Um, actually, designing the infrastructures is not just about pipes, roads, cables. We really need to think how we integrate all these inputs and outputs in our design. Uh, to decrease the overall impact on the environment, social and uh, natural uh, environment. Uh, this is what is making it uh, challenging, but also what is motivating me on this project. Um, more specifically, one of the main topics is uh, the water. As we all know, water is a global issue and a precious element that we need to preserve. Um, that's why we are designing the water management system to minimize uh, water usage, uh, trying to recycle as much as possible the water, reusing it for different purposes and returning it uh, to the ground. On another topic, especially the energy, uh, we are considering to prioritize natural ventilation in all buildings, using as well uh, natural lighting, limiting the usage of big electrical equipment like electric uh, hot water heater, electric stoves, this will help uh, to reduce the power demand of the world eco-village and to minimize the use of fossil fuel and CO2 emissions. 
and we will also install uh, renewable energy such as solar PV in uh, the common facilities and will give the option to each owner to add their own solar system. So um, roads, uh, roads on this project um, are also a challenging one. We are designing the Eco Village uh, master plan to minimize the civil work and following as much as possible the, the contours of the land and integrating the roads into the landscape. Uh, we will also use uh, perme permeable road pavements to ease the storm water management and to reduce the rain water runoff and the risk of flooding. So um, we are targeting six to nine months construction per villas according to the size of the units. The first villas will start construction early 2023. Uh, we will split the construction into phases to evolve uh, with the Eco Village growth until its completion by 2025. Um, this will be starting with the infrastructure phase in preparation for the construction of the units and facilities like co-living, restaurants, education center, uh, the health center as well. We will also prioritize uh, the landscape along the, the infrastructure construction to allow the plants uh, to grow and to create this uh, natural environment in time with the Eco Village uh, full operation. As mentioned uh, previously, we are designing the project on the five pillars. Uh, that are our framework. They are like the econ construction, the waste management, permaculture, education, as well as health and well-being. Um, all of these uh, points, all of these pillars are our priorities in the, in the project design. And so we can make sure they are all integrated with, uh, with each other. And the community will be part of an environment uh, integrating all the elements of life to live in a harmonious um, healthy way. That is why we are focusing on these five pillars, not only seeing them independently, but by making sure they are all, they are all interlinked to each other. So, um, in, in terms of uh, facilities, it means uh, having the environment, housing and community in an integrated uh, landscape. This will be uh, the natural surrounding, living areas, common facilities like uh, the co-working place, restaurants, fresh market from our permaculture garden, as well as uh, yoga shala, well-being center, uh, gym and workshops. Uh, finally, residents and community members should be expecting a project uh, helping the local community living around the, the Eco Village helping them to go out of poverty by giving them uh, free education, teaching them about uh, health, permaculture, everything without deteriorating their culture and helping them to build circular economy around the area.